All right, guys, like I said, fuel shut off solenoid is what took it. And never give up. So I can't really, I don't really feel like getting into this situation at the moment because I can just tell you this took my entire day. I can say this though. Sometimes you're not supposed to get things till next Thursday. And if you're as adamant and as persistent and as stubborn as I am, you don't like to take no for an answer. You don't like to not be in control. And when you have something that might be 13 thousandths of an inch difference, a little bit of mechanical know-how and a little bit of passion to get shit done, it's done. It's ready to go back to the customer. I was not accepting it was not going to be running correctly today. And uh, I honestly had no clue that I was going to be able to figure out what I figured out. But I, I came to terms when I pulled out the micrometer and realized I was 12 thousandths of an inch off. I was not going to fail. So I was on the phone with the customer already once today. It's not really relevant, but I'm probably going to have to let her know that I'm a very emotional guy because I'm fairly certain she uh, she caught the fact I was wanted to cry earlier with this generator. But um, yeah, I understood it wasn't the time and place for that. And I'm also here to say that this is done now. And I'm definitely going to be calling that girl back and letting her know that I was not willing to take no for an answer. So either way, guys, if you got a Caterpillar RP12000E that doesn't make an audible click when you do this over here. Then I would almost be 100% certain, willing to bet, you need an electronic fuel shutoff solenoid. And I can also tell you, there's one that's ever so slightly close that it'll still work. Alrighty, guys, be blessed um, and understand. Just never give up and you will always succeed. Even if this did not run today, I guarantee next Thursday or whenever that part came in, um, I would not have let this go out of the shop not running. There's just no question. And you guys can live the same. I got a pretty nice oil mess to clean up. Once again, these funnels don't always save lives, but uh, I didn't get a chance to use my beautiful form of funnel on this one because it's not exactly as easy to get into on this one. But alrighty guys, I'm going to stop. I'm so excited to just be done for the day. I had a very exhausting week. Super blessed. Great problems to have. Uh, I saw a bunch of applications coming through on Facebook as far as a, a full-time admin assistant. So I'm excited to review them. Hopefully one of you guys are watching this and understand this is a, it's a pretty serious ordeal right now. When you, uh, whoever gets the chance to come in here, will have a lot better understanding as to what what we really got going on and where this really can go because life is too, too freaking good to be miserable or upset. And uh, I am just so grateful that I can look at my life in the way that I do and not allow these problems to get the best of me. As much as I wanted to cry earlier, I'm so excited to tell you that this thing runs and it runs like a dream. My life is like a dream. All right, guys, be blessed. Peace.